What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and CDS, and we're going to look at how to get option set labels from triggers. So if you're a CDS person or a D365 person, you'll know that option sets have two things. They have a label and they also have a value behind them. The value is usually determined either by the system in terms of uh, the 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 number that's already there. So like a system one usually starts at a lower number, whereas if you add a custom uh, option set in by a custom, custom prefix in terms of a new solution, you would usually have a number that starts with like eight million something or other. So what we want to do is we want to get the, we want to get the labels out and not the numbers. Because usually labels are what we want. We don't really want the numbers because the numbers don't really mean anything to us. Now there is a problem with this. Usually when we run uh, flows or you know run anything we don't get the we don't get the, the labels out we just get the numbers so in this instance I've got a CDS current environment flow here for when a record is created updated or deleted now if I click on new step and add a compose action so add this one here I can look for my direct content and um, this is looking at accounts, so I'm going to choose uh, preferred, um, it, preferred method of contact. So I've got preferred method of contact here. Um, as you can see, there's no other um, there's no other preferred methods here. We just have this one preferred method of contact. Now I can add that in there. Now that's going to bring back a value and not the label. So when I test this, so I'll hit test and I'll perform the trigger action. We'll go over to our account. I've got this account here, Acme Incorporated. And I can see the preferred method of contact is any. Now if I change this to something like email and hit save. So I save the record, we'll go back to the flow. It's currently running uh, and once this updates, we will see the flows run and we will get back some details about that, uh, that option set. Just taking a moment. I might go change something else on here. Counting the why not? Just to make sure it is triggered. Okay, we're back after some slight technical difficulties. So what we had there was the flow wasn't being triggered because it's got a, a trigger condition, which means we're triggering it on change of the um, change of the telephone number. But we've got it to trigger now and we can expand this and we can see that uh, this is the record that we're looking at. This is the name of Acme Inc. But if I expand the compose action, the compose action just has the number two. So that is the preferred contact method number but not the label behind it. So what we actually need is we need that, that label value. Now that label value exists in what we're getting back. So in a trigger, and a trigger is very specific here, in a trigger you do actually get the label values as well. So if I just scroll uh, in here a little bit, we can see stuff like this, state code zero, state, state code label equals active. So that's a label, that's a label that we can use. If I scroll down further, we might see some other. So this is what we want, we want the preferred contact method label. Um, is email because we see the preferred contact method two is is two, so usually you'll want these labels. You don't really want the values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this out of here, and then we're going to click on edit, and then we're going to insert one of my favourite uh, expressions. So we're going to type trigger, and then use trigger body. So the trigger body allows you to um, get details from your trigger. So no matter what it is, it allows you to get basically anything that is returned back. So as we kind of seen, as we kind of look through and search for that preferred method of contact, we only had one. We didn't have anything else referring to that. So we didn't have a label value. But using trigger body, we can specify a specific piece of content in that schema and then bring it out in that body and bring it out. So if I put a question mark and I open some square brackets and open some uh, apostrophes, I can paste in that value, that preferred contact method label, hit escape, and it will resolve OK. So as I hover over it, you'll notice it says hover over trigger outputs question mark body forward slash preferred method of contact. 
if I hover over this, we kind of have a similar sort of thing. It's slightly different, but you know, it, it's basically the same, basically the same formula. We're, we're going to get a trigger body out. So this is actually saying um, whatever the trigger outputs are, um, I want to look in that body and then I want to get the code out. But what we're saying here is whatever that trigger body is, we're just trying to get out. So it's basically the same way to the same thing, to, same way of saying the same thing. Uh, a different way of saying the same thing. So we'll test this, we'll hit test. Uh, we'll just run it from the previous test. Hit save and test, because the values still don't be the same. Have the label will be the same too. Uh, well, let's run this, and now we can see number two and the email. So that is a really easy way for you to get option set values. Now, this works with all the triggers for CDS. So if you're using um, inside a, inside a uh, a solution using the current environments um, connector, or if you're using the, the regular connector, this will work for any of the triggers, but it will not work for all of the get record actions or all the list record actions. So we're going to cover how to get option set values in another video, but if you're using a trigger and if you need the, the option set label for a um, for for an option set inside a CDS. If you're using a trigger, you can use that trigger body and get that label out. So I, I hope this video was useful. Um, it, it's something that people keep asking about. Is like you know, I want to use a, I want to use the label. I don't want the number value. You know, I'm sending emails to colleagues. You know, this this opportunity is now one, or this opportunity is now zero, or this opportunity is now four. Um, it just doesn't mean anything to people. So you can use this to to get that information out and get, the, get that information to people. So I hope this was useful. If you did find it useful, if you could like and share it um, with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.